picking up from where we left off after the initial configuration, I thought it'd be good to walk you through some basic configuration that really enhances motor reliability and provides extended protection to cover a lot of situations that arise in, in the industrial environment. So I'm going to work in again through the in-control software app. And in this case, under the protections category, we're going to start in the general configurations. And from this page, it allows us to enable different type of protective functions that would either result in a trip or a shutdown of the motor circuit or generate a warning that could be a visual, it could be a message that's transmitted to a PLC. I'm gonna walk through those and set up a couple of, uh, I think, critical protections. The way that they have developed the software, it's real straightforward. We have a list here under the trip enable of all the different protective functions that are included within this motor management relay. And simply by clicking on a specific protection, we'll enable that protection. And as we walk through this configuration, we'll be able to set the limits and delays associated with those. So I'm just going to start with some basic ones that really extend the reliability. I'm going to enable it under voltage, over voltage, current phase loss. Yes, that's that single phase condition that it can detect. It's one of the most damaging to a lot of motor applications. I'm going to activate current imbalance. Next step down here, I'm going to go into the warning section. I'm going to utilize those same features, the under voltage, over voltage, current phase loss, and current unbalance to set a warning point that gives me an indication prior to going to a trip event. It would alert me that conditions are not normal and I may want to look at that application prior to it becoming worse and eventually reaching a trip point. So we'll start with those. The next one I want to do is go into the current configurations. So this is where I'm going to set current alarms and or trip events. I'm going to focus in on, I think one of the most overlooked enhances the protection. And that's current imbalance, as I have displayed here. Any electrical failure within a motor, such as a winding failure, bad or loose connection, will be expressed in the current imbalance while the motor's running. And having an early insight into that could save a multitude of motor failures in the field. This default setting of 15, in my experience, is a little bit too lenient. The motor is typically going to be under pretty significant duress if we're at a point of 15% imbalance. I would generally gauge that, reduce that down to uh, an 8% value, which is more in line with NEMA considerations on the design of that motor. The trip delay is appropriate anywhere from a 10 to a 15 second just to handle fluctuations within the power distribution system. I'm also going to configure an early warning alarm associated with that condition at a lower percentage value of 6%. This gives me that early warning view or alarm that would indicate to me that there is a condition that is generating an unusual current imbalance that I may be able to re repair or correct prior to it reaching a trip level. So there's some basic current ones that are a, a big advantage. Moving into the voltage configuration and protections. Under voltage, we can set a basic alarm. So this is that pre-warning that something is occurring. I'm going to Set that at 95% to give me an early window. And then my tr under voltage trip level, aligning more with NEMA considerations, I'm going to set at a 93%. So I'm going to get an early warning at 95%. And if the condition doesn't correct, I'm going to ultimately uh, result in a trip of that motor circuit at 93%. The other predominant function that I would typically set is once again, the imbalance. There is an association between voltage imbalance and current imbalance in a motor. And it's generally for every 1% of voltage imbalance you have will equate into six to eight times the current imbalance. So remember where we, we really lowered that current imbalance setting to be more in alignment with NEMA design of motors, understand that a very small level of voltage imbalance is going to generate a larger value in current imbalance. So I'm going to back that percentage down to a 1% value, and that gets us in line with the current imbalance that we've already configured. Trip delays are subjective. I generally will stick with the defaults in association with the protective functions that I'm setting. We do want to set an early warning alarm level that would give us indication prior to reaching trip level. And that's a 0.5%. Those are some easy ways through this software app 
that I can make a couple of small changes and really extend the reliability based on the protections that I have set to cover a wide range of faults. Some of them that we discussed were loose connections, early warning, winding failures, problems with voltage being supplied through the distribution system, and the effects on the motors. So these are some easy ways to really enhance that. I hope this was helpful, brought some information that you can utilize in enhancing the reliability of the motor circuits you're responsible for. Thank you for your time.